What's up guys, Lewis from Everything Smart Home here and today we're taking a look at this, the DIY Raspberry Pi Thermal Imaging Camera. As I'm sure you've probably guessed, the inspiration for this project came in the global situation that we all currently find ourselves in. A lot of the shops and restaurants here in the UK have now started taking the temperatures of customers with those thermometers that you hold up to the, the head before the customer enters the shops. And it just got me thinking, is there a better way to do this without any human interaction? So this is what I came up with. I also wanted to make something that was portable. It features a five inch touch display. The camera can be rotated to be front facing or rear facing, and the whole thing runs off a portable battery bank. It's pretty versatile too. It can be used to measure things like CPU temperature, circuit board temperature, or even water. It runs from minus 40 degrees to plus 300 degrees Celsius too. The parts for this are actually really simple. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3B, but you should be able to use any three or four board, a five inch touch display, and the MLX 90640. You'll also need a 3D printer if you want to print the enclosure, but you should be able to make an enclosure out of anything. Let's jump into the build. First, you'll want to connect your display to your Raspberry Pi by matching up the row of headers. You'll know when you have them aligned correctly because the HDMI ports will line up. You can then connect the HDMI bridge. Boot the Raspberry Pi up and then you'll also need to install the display's drivers. You can find the location for these in your display's manual. This will allow the touch screen to work properly. Then shut the Raspberry Pi down and disconnect the display. On the underside of the display, you'll find solder pads which match up to the Raspberry Pi's headers. These will allow us to directly connect the Raspberry Pi's headers to the camera's I2C interface. The pins required are 5 volts, ground, SDA and SCL. I started by soldering a 5 pin right angled header connection to the display's underside. This will allow me to put DuPont connectors directly onto the display and connect them straight to the camera. Make sure to match up the 5 volts, ground, SDA and SCL to your camera's wiring. You'll notice that the pin order is the exact same on the camera as it is on the Raspberry Pi, which is handy. Powering the Pi back up, there is a couple of Python packages that we need to install. Issue the following commands in your terminal. I'm using apt for this. I tried using pip, but the command took over an hour to run, and apt was almost instant, but your mileage may vary. Once that's completed, we'll also want to install the Python SM bus package and the I2C tools package. Once that's done, run the two pip commands to install the required dependencies. Next, we'll want to enable the I2C interface and set the baud rate by editing the Raspberry Pi's config.txt file. This will allow the I2C interface to run at a faster speed and the camera will be able to provide a faster frame rate. Reboot for these settings to take effect. Next, you'll want to clone my thermal camera GitHub repository from the description using the git clone command. Big shout out to this post from Makers Portal, who I adapted the code from. I would not have been able to get something as functional without it. CD into the newly created directory, and we'll want to make sure that our camera is actually detected. Run the I2C detect command to pick up the thermal camera. Notice how my camera is picked up on 0x33 address. Finally, we can run the program by issuing the following Python 3 command. It'll take a few moments for the interface to start up, but once working, you should now have a fully functioning thermal camera. In my testing, I get about 1.5 frames per second from the Raspberry Pi 3B, but I think a Raspberry Pi 4 should be able to achieve more than this. If you want the camera to be facing towards you, use the dash dash mirror argument when starting the program to reverse the image and put it in selfie mode. With everything working and tested, we can now push everything together into the case. Start by screwing the Raspberry Pi into the base. With the wires connected to the display, push the display onto the Raspberry Pi. You can then route the wires through the cable clip and into the camera. Slide the camera into position. Next, push the base into the lid and make sure it all clips together. Finally, you can then slide the camera into the slot to secure it. Huge thanks to user Lucky Pants on our community Discord server for their help with the camera clip. I wouldn't have been able to get something as functional without their help. Finally, we're ready to take the whole thing for a test run. I'd suggest aiming it at something that you know the temperature of. I've used the bed on my 3D printer because I know it's set to 60 degrees. I got within half a degree of this measurement, so I think it's pretty accurate. 
And there we have it guys, a fully portable and versatile thermal imaging camera. I'm actually really happy with how this project turns out, I think it looks great and I actually have quite a few uses for it. One awesome addition would be to add a normal camera onto it and then overlay the thermal image on top, but that's one for the future maybe. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and let me know your feedback down below. Massive thank you to all my supporters on Patreon, projects like this happen because of your support. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.